So hey everybody, we got Brad and Mike here from Office of the CISO. Today we're going to talk about cybersecurity engineers. So hang in there, we'll get to it. All right guys, so there's two trains of thought on what a cybersecurity engineer is. And Brad and I each have our own view of that. And one is right, one the is other right, is Mike's. Is yeah. <laughs> so. Brad's going to tell us when he hears the term cybersecurity engineer, what it means to him. And then I'll do the same. And there's a lot of overlap and there's a lot of understanding between the who, what, why, and where. So And how. Yeah. And the how. Right. So, Brad, when you hear cybersecurity engineer, especially in organizations where you've been the CISO mm-hmm. and you've built out your team, what's the responsibility of that person? All right. So, cybersecurity engineers are typically very technical. They have, they have their hands directly in the technologies that support the security functions that protect an organization. Um, most often, in my opinion, uh, cybersecurity engineers are firewall engineers or uh, IPS engineers, intrusion prevention engineers. Uh, they'll own technologies like uh, EDR and AV and things like that. Um, and it, again, in my opinion, most in, in, in my opinion, they're most often effective as direct employees of the information security office, either within the security operations center itself or within the security architecture and engineering team that works alongside the SAR. That's a very good definition from I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I worked hard on that. Hmm. <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> 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 so um a similar viewpoint from my perspective, I tend to try to get as much as possible with what I have, which Brad certainly does as well. <laughs> but with my management style and the folks that I like to hire, I usually, when I look at a cybersecurity engineer, I view them as a person that has the strong technical background. They know the product. They know exactly what to do. They're the guys that help provide guidance to the teams that run said technology. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll find a lot of organizations that want their firewall teams under the COO with the LAN-WAN team and all that because they play an integral role, right? Yeah, they're network. Um, And then, of course, EDR is usually within systems administration or Mm -hmm. something like that. And so when I hire a cybersecurity engineer, especially with where I'm coming from, um, I tend to find someone that's really, really good at what they do. But not only are they good at what they do, but they have exceptional communication skills. Yep. For me, a cybersecurity engineer is someone that can really put uh, foot to butt. You know, basically, they can kick ass and take names. Um, and usually what you need is you need someone that's very effective at communicating so that they can help provide guidance to the operational teams. And that gives that one resource the ability to scale. So, because um, I've been in organizations where we don't have a very good budget. So if I found one good cybersecurity engineer... I needed to find a way to make the other cost centers <laughs> usable to me, right? Sure. So all of a sudden, I'm I'm leveraging systems administrators by using my cybersecurity engineer to provide that yeah that skill set, right? To give direction so, things. Yeah. Um, they usually I use them more so for uh, developing a stig or some type of hardened baseline configuration for the devices that are out in the world. Your Cisco switch will be configured as such. Your edge firewall will be configured as such with these things disabled. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're usually, I usually have them running a, a pretty decent number of vulnerability assessments, pen tests, which I'm sure you do as well. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, basically anything I can, man, to leverage their knowledge and make it exponentially scaled because um, I know we kind of harp on this, but it's hard to find quality cybersecurity folks. Yeah, it is. It is. And so, so you mentioned you mentioned pen testing, and I thought I'd – rabbit hole that one a little bit um cybersecurity engineers from my perspective in my opinion would hang out in the blue team and participate in purple teams mm-hmm. um, they'd be integral in in blue team situations and for, for those that don't know uh oh, red yeah. team blue team and purple yeah yeah so uh red team blue team uh, red team would be the offensive that would be uh, per- performing penetration tests uh, blue team would be the defensive team that would be looking for the, the pen testers and trying to stop them in the tracks. Uh, the purple team is just the mix of the two working together at the same time. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, 
two very different perspectives on what a cybersecurity engineer is. Obviously, they kind of overlap a great deal because we're looking for the same qualities. It's just I feel um, a leaner approach might be more beneficial to me, whereas Brad leverages uh, a wider group. So, phrasing is always weird. So, but yeah, hopefully this video provides you some insight into what a cybersecurity engineer is. If, at the very least, it's just what type of things they'll do and yeah, and what capabilities. Obviously, being technical is uh, killer. So, <clears throat> do me a favor: hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment in the section below, telling us what you want to see next. Um, and until next time, you have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.